by Russ and any other books. I recommend you guys, as a man thinking, if you like this book by Russ, you'll definitely love that book also. Now, the first thing is this, guys. The length of the book, you might say, Tommy, is way too short. It's only an hour or something. But in reality, it's the perfect length to actually explain all the details that you need and to actually help you without having to drag along the book to around 23 hours. Because I've read books that are 23 hours long, and usually... Those books kind of like, at some point, they're kind of like, okay, I get it, but like, where's the concrete info? Because it's like spread around so like, like long, but this book is very concise and it gets to the point very quickly. Now, the first thing, the first nuggets I got from this book was in the first chapters when he actually said, you know, Tommy, it's all about believing in the what, F the when, and never forget the why. Now, that might sound confusing to you and it kind of does. Before he actually explained it, but in reality, it's a very simple concept. And here we go, guys. Now, today, I'm going to show you how to manifest money into your life. Could it really be? When he talks about um, you have to believe in the what, the what is your passion, what you actually want to achieve. Now, a lot of people out there are lost when it comes to the passion and how do I get this passion? How do I figure it out? The answer is just do what makes you happy and solve those problems. And that's where actually the passion actually comes from. The only way to figure it out is by trying different things out there. So don't just stick to one thing. Try out different things. That way you're better off. So believing in the what is believing in what you want to do and what you want to achieve. Now, the F, the when is all about very simple. It's all about stop thinking about what is going to happen. If it happened today, it's going to happen tomorrow, it's taking way too long. No. The answer is stop worrying about the when and just focus on the what you want to achieve. Now, when it comes to um, remember the why, it's actually the most powerful tool in the world when you're <coughs> achieving any goal, whether you're an entrepreneur, a musician, a business person, whatever you are. It's all about the why you do what you do and the why you want to achieve what you actually want to achieve. Now, for example, you might say, Tommy, I want to become this great person, this massive person right here because I want more money. And that might sound very good. But however, as soon as you see that you have to do all this work and no money is coming, you will give up most of the time. Okay, so the concept is you can't just focus on the money. The money doesn't matter. The money are just the points to the game. You have to focus on the game. And then eventually the money will come. Just to explain it, guys, okay? When I started doing YouTube, this is the what, okay? When I started doing YouTube, I wanted to do YouTube because basically it was my dream. I started when I was 12 years old. I'm 22 now. That's 10 years later. So when you talk to me about the when, when is it going to happen? I didn't care about that. I only cared about the progress, the game, and getting to that point. Because eventually the money will come. And the money has come. Because I make from YouTube only around ten thousand dollars every single month so the money has come but for the first nine years no money came whatsoever so if I was only focus on the money well I wouldn't be here right now and the why is I want to change not just my life but my family's life and I want more control over where my life is heading I rely less on other people and chance okay so that's why I work so hard and why I want to achieve what I actually want to achieve so that's basically it, okay so it's all about believing the what's so what's your passion? Um, F the when. Don't worry about the when it's going to happen. And remember the why you actually want to achieve what you want to achieve. It sounds simple, but when you put it into practice, it will get complicated. But having the structure will definitely help you keep everything in line with your goals and where you want to go in life. Oh, and by the way, guys, whenever it comes to basically why you want to do things, try to make everything like 50-50. So try to have like 50% selfish goals. And 50% like more like, I want to do it for my family, for other people. I get that. But you always have to be a little selfish also because it's kind of like if you ask me, hey, can you do this for me? It's like, yeah, I'll do it for you. And you're not really getting anything out of it. Eventually, you'll be like, hey, bro, get the hell out of here. I'm not doing your work all the time. It's kind of like what's in it for me also. So always make sure the selfish thing to why you actually want to achieve what you want to achieve. For example, right? I want to have a nice house. I want to have good equipment. I want to have great camera equipment. I want to have the best things out there. But I also want to help my family out. So it's not like selfish. I'm pulling for myself, but I'm also pulling or, or pushing for my family also. So like, it's, like, it's like a balance when it comes to what you want. Be a little selfish also. Not just about like, hey, my family and charity, that's great. But also think about yourself also. Because in the end, you have to think about yourself because you are the one doing all the work. So you have to think about yourself also. Now, the second thing I want to talk about in this book is all about the roadmap to success. Okay, And it's how Russ actually achieved what he achieved. 
and how you can do the same by following these little three steps right here. Now, before I do that, guys, if you haven't done it already, like this video. We'd appreciate it. Start the channel, hit the bell so you get notified because every time you guys like the video and subscribe, it helps the channel a ton. So thank you so much for going out there and liking the video and doing your part. We'd really appreciate it. Now, let's talk about these three things you need to actually become successful in life according to Russ and also according to me because I also agree with what he's saying, okay? So basically, I'm going to let you in on a secret. The secret to creating a viral YouTube channel is to steal. How do I know? Basically, the first thing is that you need to be delusional. Tell me, what do you mean be delusional? That sounds crazy. Are you telling me to be crazy to be successful? Do I have to be crazy? Well, the answer is no. You don't have to be crazy unless you think I'm crazy, which I'm successful now, so it's because I'm crazy. I don't know. But the concept is that's not true. The concept is that, you know, to be successful in life, you have to be a little delusional to actually believe that what you actually want that has never been done in the world before is still accomplishable. So, for example, you know, my entire dream of being like a YouTuber and, you know, making money from making videos and also for my family, that's awesome. But that's kind of basic now because everyone's kind of doing it on the Internet. However, imagine back in the days when there was no airplanes and the Wright brothers said, you know what, I want to go from California to New York and a plane and not like by train or on a bicycle. Okay, that sounds crazy. You know, it sounds very crazy, but they still say, you know what, it doesn't matter. I'm going to make it happen. And for example, Thomas Edison, I want to walk in a room and I want electricity. Okay, I want there to be like a light bulb here to help me out to see my work. Okay? Now, that might sound normal to you now, but back in the days when the entire like greatest innovation in the world was all about wigs and fake teeth. Well, guess what? That was a little delusional for him to even think about it. But the concept is, it doesn't matter. You still have to chase your dreams, no matter how crazy it seems, because there's always a possibility you can always accomplish it if you work hard enough. Now, talking about working hard and getting to that point, well, same thing you need to be successful is all about being persistent. Now, persistent isn't just like how my grandfather said, you know what, Tommy, you have to work hard. No, it's kind of like work hard and also work smart. So for example, if you're working hard for one year and it's not working, you also have to go out there and also make the change to actually say, like, hey, this isn't working, but what can I do to actually make it work? So the concept is work smart, work hard, combine them both to achieve what you want to achieve. Because, again, if you're not willing to eat, you know, like, ish for, like, 10 years, like I kind of did in a sense, then you really don't want your goal as bad as you say you want. So you're wasting your own time and everyone else's time. So just make sure you understand what it's going to take to achieve what you actually want. Now, the third thing that you can actually get to actually accomplish success, it's all about gratitude. Now, gratitude is the equivalent of being grateful for everything that happens in your life. So the equivalent of also saying, hey, it is just not enough. I want more. That's great also. You should always want more. But you also have to be grateful for what you also have currently. So for example, guys, okay, when I was making YouTube videos, I was getting around 10 views per video that I actually made that cost me around 10 hours to make every single day. Now, you may say, Tom, that's crazy. Why did you stop? Well, yesterday, guys, a year later, like, when I was 20, I was getting one view. My biggest video was like, like, like 100 views. I was like, you know what? This is awesome. This is amazing. I just got 100 views. Isn't that crazy? 100 people watched my video. And today, when I got those um, 10 views when I was like back in the days, like six months ago, and to now getting like 1,000, 2,000 views every single day, that's awesome to me because, again, guys, you have to imagine, okay? I live in New York in a very small room, and I work from out of here because when I do move out of this house, I want to own my own properties and have investments, okay? Now, if I say, you know what, a thousand views is great, but I want what that guy has. He gets like 50K every single video or like 100K every single video. That's awesome, but it doesn't really matter, you know, because entire progress is the success. So the journey is the success. The success is the destination. It's the journey to actually get there. Now, before I go, guys, if you made it all the way to the video right here, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know. But before I go, guys, I want to leave you guys with a bonus here. And it's that, you know what? I really enjoyed three points in this book the most. And it's all about basically the idea of actually going out there and saying, F the points, I'm just going to worry about the game. So stop worrying about like how many views are you getting, how much money you actually get in. It's all about the journey to actually get to where you want to go and achieve what you want to achieve. Now, the second point is that, hey, guys, you know, confidence will eventually attract people that disagree with you. So imagine this, right? Imagine you're confident about achieving something that has never been done in the past and someone is not confident in themselves. Well, that will kind of piss them off in a sense, okay? So you have to be 
understand that people will get mad at you or will disagree with you, but don't worry about that. They don't really matter that much because in the end, it's all about what you want to achieve. And someone that is confident will not be mad at your confidence either. So always remember that also. Now, the last thing I want to say is this, guys. You know, this book really showed you like a very, like, very glimpse of what being unstoppable actually is. The idea of being unstoppable is always like, hey, you're successful, you're rich, you're all this. But in reality, being unstoppable is chasing something even though you have a very slight chance of actually getting it. And it's crazy, right? Because, for example, to work for 10 years at something and not get there and you keep trying over and over again until you get there, well, that takes a lot um, I want to say that word, you know, like B-A-L-L-S, but I don't want to say it because I got to monetize, but you know what I mean. So it does take a lot of, um, like, you know, a lot of finesse to it. And again, if you're not willing to do all that hard work, then you just don't want what you say you want as bad as you do. So don't lie to yourself. Just try to find something else if this is not your area. Now, guys, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, like the video, really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Now, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, really appreciate it. And on top of it, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell.